What's up, everybody? Matt here with Maximum Beverage in our West Hartford store. It is 7 a.m. this morning. We're going to be doing a head-to-head -head 91 point scored one spectator, one Parker throwdown between two wines from the languedoc roussillon region. Two wines that I think are tremendous values, something that's going to bring a lot to the table for the money. Uh, both priced right around 14 bucks. Uh, let's not wait any longer and get right into the wine. So, first one, Domaine de Puig Parahi, or something along those lines. Pronunciation is tough for me. Um, this one's 91 points. 91 points Parker. Um, a blend of 40% Syrah, 30% Grenache, 30% Carignan, uh, Cote de Roussillon, which is the southernmost region in France, except for Banyuls, um, literally five miles from Spain. So that gives you an idea of where this is. Uh, this is the 2011 Georges. Let's get into it. Nice dark color, not too dark. Pretty earthy nose, some red berry on there, almost blueberry, almost like a uh, Bord uh, almost Bordeaux-like in the earthiness. Really nice fruit on this wine, good tannin. Um, a fair amount of kind of like graphite slash almost like pencil shavings. Um, nice fruit, really good value. I think this, for 91 points, these guys were right on. Um, you're not gonna find a ton of wine um, at 91 points that kind of brings this value. Um, as far as Languedoc Roussillon goes, right now they're really bringing, as far as value goes, kind of the best stuff out of France, in my opinion which is only one person's opinion. Um, another winery here, uh, Cave de Roque Brune, the ter Terraces de Cabrio from St. Chinian. So this is a farther north in, uh, in the region. Um, this one is a blend, Carignan, Grenache, and Syrah as well. Um, different, the Cuvée is not listed here. Um, and these guys are actually negotiants, so they source um, their wine. They're not technically a, a state winery, um, but really, who cares? The wine's good. So this one's 91 point spectator. Not as quite as much earthiness as the first wine. Definitely a lot more kind of berry and a lot more vanilla. A lot of mo a fair amount of mocha, a little more kind of greenness, like a, a touch of bell pepper on the just a touch. This seems to me this reminds me of kind of the more typical uh, Languedoc uh, style wines that we're seeing. This is definitely a little more ripe. A little more fruit forward. I think a lot of people will like this. For me, if I had to rank them, 91 points Parker, 91 points Spectator, gotta go with the Puig. So, one, two, both really good values. I think if you're looking for something more fruit forward, this is your guy. You like earthiness, you really like that kind of French earthiness. Um, this is where you're gonna head. Uh, again, both good values. So, there you go. Two wines from Languedoc, both getting 91 points. Uh, Parker, Spectator. Uh, one more thing I forgot to tell you, this is pretty important. This is currently in stock. This currently is not. 
Uh, we'll be in probably next week or the week after, so if you come by the store and you're looking for both of these wines, you'll find this one. You won't quite find this one yet. Um, just came in the country, just came in the state, so this is a brand new one. This one, both brand new, but this one will be in stock. So, just a little heads up. Thank you. Come by the store, come check us out. Subscribe to this video. Follow us on, what do we got? Twitter, at Maximum Bev. Follow us on Facebook. Actually, don't follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, at Maximum Bev. Subscribe here. Subscribe to our email list if you want to get sick deals. Check us out on Snapchat, at Maximum Bev. What's that, Kevin? What's that last thing you want? Instagram. Oh, check us out on Instagram at Maximum Bev. Instagram's cool. That's where all the cool kids hang out. Um, and that's about it, guys. Cheers.